Hello everyone. Welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we will learn the steps on how to perform post installation configuration tasks in Windows Server 2022. Now that we have installed Windows Server 2022, it is important to configure the server so that it has an appropriate name, is a member of workgroup or domain, is regularly updated and is secured through Windows Firewall. In this video, we will complete post installation configuration task on Windows Server 2022. Those tasks are renaming the server, setting up the time zone, configuring IP addressing information, configuring remote management and remote desktop, joining a server to an existing domain and some more. We don't need to complete all of the task at this time, but we should complete some preliminary task right away, such as configuring basic information about the server. For example, the Windows Server 2022 has been assigned a random computer name such as win-random-character-string in a workgroup called workgroup. Also, the computer has been automatically set up to have an IP address automatically leased by DHCP. Typically, a server should have a static IP address that we assign manually. To perform post-installation configuration task, log on to the server running Windows Server 2022 using an account with administrative privileges. The server manager windows appears automatically. If server manager window is not open, click start and click the server manager tile to open server manager dashboard. Click on local server icon. The properties tile for the server appears. Click the computer name just to the right of the computer name label. We should change the computer name to one that follows our organization's server naming convention. In the system properties dialog box and the domain controller in the computer description box and click on the change button. Enter the new name for our Windows Server 2022 in computer name box that may give ws22-dc01. After entering the computer name, click on OK. We must restart our computer to apply the new name. Click OK. Click on Close and click on Restart later as we don't want to restart our computer right now. Look to the right of the Windows Defender Firewall and notice that the default setting says Firewall is on for the public firewall profile. If firewall is off, click on the link and enable it. In our case, the firewall profile is public network. So if your firewall is currently turned off, from here, you can turn on the Windows Defender firewall. Let me close it. Remote management through Server Manager, Windows Admin Center or PowerShell is enabled by default. We do not need to change anything here. If you want to enable Remote Desktop Protocol, click on Disable in front of Remote Desktop. Choose Allow Remote Connection to this computer option. System will automatically add required firewall exception rules to Windows Defender Firewall to allow incoming RDP traffic. We are not going to enable RDP on this server. Click on Cancel. I'll create a separate video on how we can create an IC teaming in Windows Server 2022. Click on RP version 4 address assigned by DHCP, RP version 6 enabled. This is because the server uses a wired connection and has already obtained an IP address from the local DHCP server, which is local router in my case. Before we set up an IP address for this Windows Server 2022, let me show you my current local network setup. Remember, we have selected bridge adapter type for this virtual machine. Let me show you that. Devices, network and networking settings. We can confirm that network adapter type 
is breach adapter so our server is directly connected to my local network which is 172.18.72.0/24 right click on ethernet adapter and select status click on details see the current ip address network range it is 172.18.72.0/24 server is getting an ip address from my local router i have set up dhcp scope with ip address 172.18.72.100 to 172.18.72.254 we will set up an ip address 172.18.72.50 to our server as it is not included in dhcp scope on my local router remember you have to set up the ip address on your server as per your local ip address range find the available ip address from the local address range and assign it statically to your windows server 2022 click on close and again click on close right click on ethernet adapter and select properties double click the ip version in use on your network such as internet protocol version 4 to configure a static ip address now select use the following ip address radio button specify the ip address subnet mask and default gateway for this computer in our case ip address will be 172.18.72.50 subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 default gateway address is 172.18.72.1 which is the ip address of my router also enter the ip address for the preferred dns server and the ip address for the alternate dns server if there is one we will use google's public dns server which is 8.8.8 and i will also provide my local router's ip address which is also acting as a dns server After assigning the static IP address to this network adapter, click on OK. Since I don't want to use IP version six in our practice lab, I'll remove the checkbox in front of Internet Protocol version six. Click OK. Close the network connections window, ensuring that our server has the correct time and time zone is required for many services. that work with multiple computers on the network such as active directory to main service by default microsoft sets the time to the time listed in our bios clock and the time zone to pacific time zone to change time and time zone for a server within server manager click on the hyperlink next to time zone the time zone settings dialog box appears Select the appropriate time zone settings for the server's permanent location. To change the time zone, click on Change Time Zone. From the list, we will select UTC plus 5:30, which is the standard time zone for India. Click OK. Click on OK again. Windows Update is set up, download, and install automatically. As of now. we will keep windows update setting to default settings now i'm going to close the server manager and reboot our windows server 2022 after restart sign in again to our windows server 2022 computer using administrator account ensure the server manager dashboard opens automatically click on local server and check the new computer name of our windows server 2022 computer name is changed to ws2022-dc01 you can see the ip address as well as our time zone after windows server 2022 is installed it is necessary to activate a copy of the operating system activation also enables microsoft to be sure a single copy is not running on more than one computer since we are using evaluation copy of windows server 
it is activated automatically. We can use full featured Windows Server 2022 for next 180 days. We can see the status here. Windows Server 2022 Data Center Evaluation Copy Windows License is valid for next 180 days. I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. That's all for this video on how to perform post-installation configuration task in Windows Server 2022. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.